Hello folks, the Celtic Nerd here bringing you another nerdy video. We're back again with Star Wars The Old Republic. Now, this is not going to be like my last video where I did a recap of what was essentially lost when OBS decided to start, you know, messing up. We are going to be tackling an, um, a flashpoint. <laughs> I've seen your prowess as a hunter, Gwizen. I'm glad to have you at my side. These points and your score are everything to you, correct? Nugan, a genim naya, lak umnan mege. Bomo gala apayang, in nilama imi amka angap, kala jiwa nimok, a bemgam nyama naya aigam. That is truly excellent news. Mem ilik meraka, naya naram, kam kalu amik manik, manala yang perlu, amka kalami naya kira nubua. Pause this while I handle some crafting. Alright, folks, I'm gonna now uh, mute my mic and I'm just going to and hope, hope you guys just enjoy this nice flashpoint. Excuse me. Yes, could I speak with you for a moment? I don't mean to trouble you, Jedi, but I'm curious if anyone from the ship's crew has come to speak with you yet. No member of the ship's crew has sought me out. Should they have? I heard a rumor that there's an Imperial warship following us. I know, I know, the Treaty of Coruscant, but I don't trust the Empire to keep the peace. wise to anticipate deception by the Sith, but don't let fear cloud your judgment. It's hard not to be a little afraid, knowing what the Empire was capable of back in the war. The crew won't tell the passengers anything at all. It's not very reassuring. Telling the passengers that Imperials are nearby would only cause a panic. I suppose. Still, I think it's unsettling to think that there might be Imperials behind us. Warning! Warning! Incoming fire! All hands, brace for incoming! Repeat, all 
hands. Can you hear me? Are you all right? You don't need to worry about me. Good, good. That was quite a hit. We're lucky not to be hurt. Listen, you have to get to the bridge. The captain will need all of the help he can get right now. Go, hurry. Let's just hope it's not too late to help. It's never too late to try. Good luck. Come on, Tyrus! You can make it, sir! You can make it! He's gone, sir. You're in charge now. What are our orders? Your orders? Weapons are out! Shields are out! Comms are out! There's nothing we can do! The path may not always be clear, but that does not mean there is no path. Why is this Jedi standing on our bridge spouting nonsense? We're in a situation here! Sir, we need all the help we can get. If we don't keep it together here, we're finished. Keep what together? The Imperials have us by the throat! We're as good as dead already! What's wrong with you? Are you really going to let your ship fall to the Imperials so easily? That ship behind us is one of the biggest in the Imperial fleet! We didn't stand a chance! Sir, incoming message. The Imperial ship is hailing us. What? Oh. Well then put them on. Republic Transport Esselus, this is Grand Moff Rikus Kilrin. Your defenses are entirely disabled. Attempt no resistance. We'll fight you and your Imperial lackeys to the bitter end, Kilrin. Ignore that man! He doesn't represent us! I don't care who's representing you. I'm not here to negotiate. Your ship is transporting a known anti-Imperial terrorist and seditionist, the so-called Ambassador Vin Asara. I've come to collect her. Who? We didn't take any passengers by that name. I've never even heard of this person. <laughs> Interesting. Lying or incompetent, no matter. My agents aboard your ship have confirmed the Ambassador is there. You have spies aboard our ship. I have eyes everywhere. Imperial soldiers are preparing to board your ship through its primary airlock. My agents will ensure that you do not interfere with them. If you attempt to stop my men from arresting Ambassador Asara, I will have every living thing aboard the Esselus killed. Where is the primary airlock? I'll stop the Imperials as they try to board. Weren't you listening? If we try to fight those slaughterers, we have to cooperate! It won't matter. Kilrin has us now. He'll kill us all. He's famous for it. The only one he wants alive is the Ambassador. If Kilrin gets the Ambassador while we're sitting in his sights, we're goners. Those soldiers have to be stopped before they can succeed. I'll show these Imperials the error of their ways. It's very brave of you to volunteer. Listen, I'm sorry I lost it earlier. It means a lot to have your help right now. Thank you. The Jedi way is to serve. Maybe so, but we appreciate your help all the same. I'll have our security team meet you by the primary airlock. They haven't seen much action, 
but Commander Narlock knows his stuff. Good luck. We're all counting on you. That's it, men. This is what you've been training for. The Imperials are coming, and we're not gonna let them pass, are we? Sir! No, sir! We aren't fighting alone. An experienced volunteer is going to help us. The Imps won't stand a chance. The Force will guide us to victory. The Force will be with us, men. We'll be unstoppable. The Imps will cut through any second now. We need to take up defensive positions. Surrender! It's victory or nothing. Surrender! It's victory or nothing. The bridge. You have to hurry. It was all a trap. The Imperials set us up. Terra, the Ambassador, capture her at all costs. We've done it, man! We've done it! The ship is saved! I'm sorry, Commander, but that... That isn't the case. That Imperial said that you're the one they were sent to capture. Listen, that's not important right now. We have a serious problem. First Officer Hawken walked us right into a trap. The attack on this airlock was a ruse. After Hawken sent you here, Imperial Commandos snuck aboard. They were led by a Mandalorian mercenary called Iron Fist. We defeated the first group of boarders. There's no reason we can't defeat this group, too. It gets worse, I'm afraid. Iron Fist and his Imperial Commando stormed the bridge, and now the entire area is locked down tight. How did you learn about all of this? I watched the whole thing happen on the security cams. What is this all about? Why are the Imperials so desperate to capture you? Because of my work. I'm a Republic ambassador. I travel to Imperial-controlled planets and convince their governments to come over to our side. Turning potential enemies into friends spares us unnecessary conflicts. Not all battles can be avoided. But diplomacy can gain us so much more than fighting. But we can talk about my work later. We need to retake the bridge. The longer we leave the Imperials in control, the harder it'll be to remove them. I already told you, Iron Fist has the bridge locked down. There's no way in or out. A security lockdown. That is bad. Chief Engineer Salen might know of a workaround. Hopefully we can get to Salen before the Imperials. Do you know where he is? He and his team will be down in the engineering section. I'm sure they'll be able to help us. We'll need a diversion. 
If the Imperials notice the hatches to engineering opening, they'll flood the area with soldiers. My men and I can handle that. Form up, men! We're gonna go start some trouble. Let's get that bridge open. We'll give those imps something to think about, won't we, boys? I'll go along with Commander Narlock. Once you've cleared a path to engineering, I'll double back and join up with you there. Good luck. Whoa, you're a Jedi. Chief, hey, Chief, look, there's a Jedi out there. You must be crazy coming all the way down here with the imps everywhere. Commander Narlock said that you might know of a way to unlock the bridge. The Imperials have it sealed off. The imps pulled the lock down? You gotta be kidding me. You really cleared this place out. I didn't run into a single Imperial on my way down here. Listen, there's no time to waste. Commander Narlock and his men are being overrun. We have to get the bridge unlocked now. So I've heard. I'd invite you in, but the lockdown has our door sealed, too. Are you going to be safe in there? Do you need help getting out? Getting the bridge back in our control is much more important. Now let's see. What about a reactor reset? That would disengage the security locks, wouldn't it, sir? Yeah, but a reactor reset vents the engineering compartment. We'd be blown into space. Besides, controls are on the other side of the door. What else could we do to open up the bridge? The secondary conduits. They're spread around a bit, but if you shut them all down, the security will go down too. Then we'll be in business. I'll get the conduits shut down right away. There's no time to go running all over the ship. If we don't act now, the Imperials will overwhelm us. I'm sorry, Salen. We need to unlock the bridge while we have the chance. We have to reset the reactor. You and your men will be remembered. We can't send these people to their deaths. Not when there's an alternative. Fine. But you're dooming everyone on this ship. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good. We are trying to save the people on this ship. Not kill them. Fine. Who am I to argue? You crazy witch! Shutting down the secondary conduits will work, I promise! If you're going to do it, go now. The longer you wait, the more Imperials you'll have after you.
I don't know how you managed it, but you did. Security doors around the bridge have opened. I've yet to face anything I can't overcome. I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't been aboard. Probably locked in an Imperial prison, or worse. I'll go and help Narlock with another diversion, so you have as little resistance as possible when you attack the bridge. You'll still have to deal with Iron Fist, though, and that's no small challenge. I haven't met anyone who could stop me yet. That's good. Most people would panic when faced with an experienced Mandalorian. Or any Mandalorian, really. I only know Iron Fist by reputation. But he's been doing Grand Moff Kilrin's dirty work for a long time now. He's never been captured, defeated, or even driven back. You have your work cut out for you. Where there is a will, there is a way. I will not fail. Just be careful. Mandalorians always have a few tricks up their sleeves. All right. No more time to waste. Narlock, are you there? Can you hear me? Copy! This is Narlock. Set for second offensive? That's right, Commander. I'm on my way to join you now. Let's make it happen. Good luck. Easy.
I'm back. Not a problem.
Well, well. I was wondering when you'd finally show up. This is it? There aren't more of you? Just give up, Iron Fist. I don't want to have to hurt you or your men. Strange view of the situation. Guess you'd have to be a little crazy to put up the fight you have. Let's vape this worthless scum and get back to work. First Officer Hawken, do you have any spare shuttles in the hangar bay? Spare shuttles? Yes, we do, but I don't... Then that's our only chance. You have to board Grand Moff Kilburn's ship and disable the tractor beam so that we can all escape. It's a desperate plan, but Kilburn certainly won't be expecting it. I've been aboard warships like Kilburn's. The tractor beam control should be easy to find if you know where you're going. Ambassador, you're familiar with the layout. Perhaps you should go along to help get the tractor beam shut down. We need every advantage we can get. It will be good to have you along, Ambassador. I'll do my best to help in any way I can. Ambassador, before you go, take a spare uniform. We wouldn't want any Imperials to recognize you. Good thinking, Commander. Thank you. Now let's get moving. Good luck out there. We're all counting on you. Hey, hold up a minute. I need to talk to you before you go. I just talked to Salen from Engineering. He told me what Asara tried to make you do down there. Thank you for stopping her. She was just doing what she thought she had to do to save the ship. And she would have killed a lot of good people if you hadn't stopped her. Thank you. Listen, I've been thinking. I really believe this plan is going to work. But there's only one way to guarantee that we'll all make it home safe. And that's to make sure the Imperials have no reason to keep chasing us. You want me to hand the Ambassador over to the Imperials, don't you? Yes. For the sake of us all, I want you to leave Asara behind, on the Grand Moff ship. With the tractor beam down, we'll be able to escape, but Kilrin will just chase us down again. Unless he's already captured his target. As long as Asara is on this ship, everyone aboard is in danger. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of risking all of our lives for that woman. I didn't sacrifice the engineers to get us out of this. I won't sacrifice Asara either. Just think about it. I'd even make it worth your while if things go the way I'm suggesting. Anyway, you'd better get going. I've held you up too long already. Good luck.
have to hurry.
Well, I've seen some incredible things in my time, but you've just topped the list. I'm sorry I couldn't greet you in person. If only you had let me know you were stopping by. Your taunts are useless. This won't stop until the Esselus is free. Are you certain me? I can only be cordial through so much. My men will be along shortly to escort you to the accommodations I've arranged. Your men can't stop us, Kilrin. You greatly overestimate your chances. Iron Fist wasn't the only weapon in my arsenal, nor the deadliest. See you soon.
Alright folks, this is one of the big problems <laughs> when you don't have like a stealth subclass as well is like these moments when you are trying to get your flashpoint like very quickly. Like we, if we were a Jedi Shadow, we could have a much easier time slipping by.
reason why I didn't use the heroic moment against destroyed. And it was for that exact reason. I was like, yeah, no, this thing's gonna go down quite easily. I hope you realize that this is getting out of hand. You're leaving me with precious few options. This we will use the heroic moment. Because her uh, these bonus bosses tend to be a uh, bit stronger than the core. There we go. Time, like it's very difficult for me to be a moment when I can use certain abilities. Because, like, this has a while, is it a five, a six second cooldown? Like, that's not helpful because it's a 0 0.1 off. So like that has a six second cooldown. This has a six second cooldown. This has a six second cooldown. But the thing is though, that is an instantaneous effect. So once we use this, uh, we then switch to this. That uses up about three seconds. And then this uses up about three seconds. You know? It's just very satisfying to be able to go along this line. I am curious about, um, like, you know, this whole pathway, because, like, we, we do direct range damage. We're not about sustaining damage over time, we deal immediate damage. So, I, mean, I am very curious about what this is all going to end up uh, looking for. Like. That quite literally is only using telekinesis. I, there's not a lot of games that I've, I haven't played a lot of games where I play as a cipher. No oh, sorry, uh, uh, the character has only objects. Now, obviously, with the force, we're harder to uh, concentrate here or we are using uh, stones and whatnot. In, thi in this case, we'll be using metal. I, I don't want to do anything drastic, but I will 
surrender right. now. Uh, is there a way to bypass this fight? Because those guys are pretty hard. Yeah, it looks like we are able to bypass it. Like ultimately, in the end, you cannot avoid taking damage from that. But we were, we are, we are at least able to meet again. seem to have a reason to fight in these like areas. Uh yep, we just have to fin we, we have two more fights now. Greetings. At last. A real, live Jedi. How I've looked forward to this. A true Sith cannot go long without a true challenge. You create a conflict that need not exist. We can settle this matter peacefully. I was promised a battle, and I will have it. To destroy a dangerous foe, that is the way of a true Sith. When I carve your heart from your chest, your fellow Jedi will sense your defeat, as will my master. You don't have to continue down the dark path. You can still embrace peace. Peace is a lie. There is only passion, and through passion, I gain strength. The power of the dark side is infinite. Are you ready to face Oblivion. There is no darkness that does not flee from the light. There will be no fleeing from this fight!
I'm charging up our main turbo lasers batteries. In a few moments, your pathetic ship and all your pathetic friends will be nothing but floating debris. Come on, get onto the shuttles. We have to hurry. If we launch fast enough, I think we can make it. Are you ready? Right behind you, Ambassador. Let's just hope Hawken has the hyperdrive ready. Come on. Everyone's aboard, Plex. Get us out of here, now! We're safe! You did it! You did what no one else could have done. You've saved us all. We owe you our lives. Every one of us. So on behalf of the passengers and crew of the Republic Transport Esselus, thank you. It has been an honor to help and protect you all. If you hadn't been here, we'd all have been doomed. We can't thank you enough. I took up a collection from everyone on the ship. Hopefully, these credits will help you save other people in need, the same way you saved us. You have my gratitude. You deserve far more. Ambassador Asara, it's... it's a relief to see that you made it back to us safely as well. It's a relief to be back, Hawken. I'm just glad that this is all finally over. We're finally safe. I want to thank you again for everything you've done. Heroes like you are hard to come by, and the Republic needs every one they can get. I did what I had to do. Nothing more. I mean it. If you hadn't been here, they would all be dead for certain. I should warn you, though. Grand Moff Kilrun is never going to forget what we've done. He'll stop at nothing to get his revenge. Sounds like I'd better keep my guard up from now on. That would be wise. There's nothing Kilrun isn't capable of. Anyway, enough of that. I'd say it's about time we all relaxed a bit and enjoyed the rest of our trip. Thanks again, and good luck in the future. <laughs>